Finger Puppet Management Midterm Presentation, Group Kim Taylor, Group 7, by Emily DeWitt, Samantha Donahue, Bradley Hahn, Brooke Harris, Jordan Curry, and Anwar Kazim. Characters Kim Her characteristics include being a very good leader, a perfectionist, good in collaborative situations, and a driven, hardworking individual. Although she can sometimes become overwhelmed by being a perfectionist, she is careful to take her time and complete her tasks to the best of her ability, with great perseverance. She recently graduated from college with honors and is a driven individual. Lori, the CEO of Viceroy. She is very positive and driven, but can be harsh if the situation is not exactly how she expects it to be. She can be misunderstood by employees when she is being harsh because she simply wants the company to succeed and provide for her three daughters. Her attributes include great organizational skills, being a good leader, a great collaborator, and a team player. Mark. Mark works under Kim as a sales representative. He too is eager to advance in his career, but he will not sacrifice his morals to do so. He has great team leading skills as well as a positive personality, great working mentality, and a creative mind. There are no negative characteristics about Mark, though sometimes he will not show up to work because he is not socially accepted at the office. In situations that are tough, he will persevere and demonstrate his fantastic leadership skills. Ryan, another sales representative. He keeps to himself and jumps from job to job. He has no real interest in the company or advancing in his job position, which is evidenced by how he is uninterested, quiet, sluggish in his behavior. He spends most of his free time playing video games and being at home. He is a round character that, as time goes on, he begins really growing a bond with Kim Taylor, as well as the entire company. After a few episodes, he becomes more educated about his work, the opportunities within his reach, and the importance of collaboration. Shelby. Shelby is a receptionist at the office. Shelby is a young, single mother of two and is working three jobs to make ends meet. She can be difficult to deal with, especially since she is burdened with so much work with both kids and jobs. Therefore, she can become overwhelmed easily. She feels that she deserves Kim Taylor's job as she has been with the company far longer than Kim has. As a result, she isn't very respectful towards Kim and sometimes even attempts to sabotage her from time to time with subterfuge, although it never really works. Summary. This show follows Kim Taylor as she becomes the new marketing manager for Viceroy, an apparel company located in San Diego, California. She is commonly faced with ethical and managerial dilemmas. Plus, there are high expectations for Kim, since she is youthful and recently obtained a highly sought over job position. Explanation The show is a drama that shines a light on the problems that everyday people face. With Kim being in middle management, she has many different people pulling her in different directions. The people under her want to work less, and management above her wants better and better results. Beginning story. The story begins with her interview for the promotion to marketing manager. Right after she gets it, she gets thrown into the problems of managing. Ethical dilemmas make her job no easy task. Both victories and setbacks keep the show interesting and suspenseful. Target market. The show would be most relatable to young adults. The target market would be adults from the ages of 18 to 35. The age group would definitely be able to relate to Kim's constant struggle of trying to balance work and life, trying to keep her employees and bosses happy all at the same time. People beyond age groups wouldn't have a problem relating to it either, so there would be older viewers as well, although not directly targeted. Format the format is weekly shows packaged in a season of 20 or less episodes a season. The season would follow one overarching problem. Once that problem has been resolved, that particular season would be ended. Episode 1, The Introduction. 
The setting of the show takes place in the city of San Diego, California. Most of the scenes arise in Kim Taylor's office at Viceroy, a popular and stylish clothing company owned by the chief stockholder and founder, Lori. Recently, the sales of the company are dropping because of the astonishing economic recess that has occurred. Kim hears about the new management position that has opened up in the marketing department, and she is eager to be promoted. With high expectations, Kim prepares for her interview in the morning. She hopes that if she gets the job, she will be able to use what she learned in her previous years with the company. She is most worried about making sure that she maintains ethical decision making and fits in with the culture of the new co-workers if she receives the promotion. The introduction episode will end with her going into the interview. Concepts in Episode 1 Ethical Decision Making Chapter 2 In Episode 1, we see that Kim Taylor is worried she might not fit into the new office environment after her promotion. She is afraid that she could be tempted to not abide by the ethical standards that she was taught. Culture Chapter 3 Another reason that Kim Taylor is worried if she does get the promotion is because of the new people she is working with. A new work environment entails new people and the possibility of new cultures and viewpoints. Episode 2, The Promotion After only a year of working as the marketing representative of Lori's company, it was decided that the old marketing manager would be cut from the company due to a higher demand in productivity and skillful characteristics, which the current marketing manager couldn't keep up with. Kim Taylor, on the other hand, was incredibly admirable, driven, and skillful in her marketing position, and Lori had been analyzing her skills for the past year. Since Lori needed a new, young professional that could be with the company and make them successful, she decided to give Kim an opportunity to prove herself in an interview. Kim was incredibly exclamatory and wonderstruck when she was informed about the possible raise as well as the new job. But first, she would need to be prepared to be successful in the interview with Lori. After buying a more professional outfit, brushing up on her interview questions, and analyzing her new job position, Lori interviewed Kim, which turned out to be a triumph in Kim's job career. At first, Kim was a little nervous, but became comfortable instantly when she saw how eager Lori was to award her for her hard work with a new job title. She had moved up from marketing representative to marketing manager. This was incredibly exciting for Kim, but also frightening at the same time because of the higher expectations and pressure resulting from obtaining a new job title. Instead of being timid, Kim knows that she will have to be intrepid, highly corroborative among her colleagues, and extremely professional. Concepts in Episode 2 Decision Making Chapter 12 Once Kim Taylor gets offered the job, she realizes that she will be responsible for more people and will need to hone in on her skills, such as decision making. Planning Chapter 5 Kim Taylor uses her planning skills to get ready for her interview to be sure that she makes a great impression. Organizational Structure Chapter 6 We can see in this episode how firm Kim Taylor works and follows somewhat of a functional structure. Episode 3, New Responsibilities Kim is analyzing the progress of sales and realizes that they projected to be lower than what was actually quoted. She also observes that the sales have dropped due to lower productivity from her employees. However, her boss comes in and informs her that she is doing a great job with creating ideas for the new product line. He continues to tell her that if the new line increases the company's revenue for the year, that it will then help business grow tremendously overall. Kim instantly realizes that she needs to work on getting sales back up and decides how she can increase her employee productivity. She ponders about ideas and is able to come up with a few. 1. Having an in-store competition with gift card rewards for employee sales. 2. Set achievable goals that the employees need to work towards in order to make a specific deadline. Or 3. Install a coffee pot which allows short scheduled breaks to give employees a brain break. She decides to start out with setting out goals for the employees and installing a competition so they have an incentive to achieve those goals. This helps reinforce sales and professionalism at the workplace. Concepts in Chapter 3 Management Chapter 1 Now Kim Taylor has to step up to her new management position and take charge. She notices a drop in sales even though her manager said she's doing great. She takes the initiative to increase sales before her manager has to say anything. Environment Chapter 1 Kim Taylor creates a fun environment in her workplace for her team by creating an in-store competition, which is both fun and an incentive to increase sales. Leadership, Chapter 4. Kim Taylor has made decisions on how to increase sales by setting goals and creating an employee competition. 
and begins to implement them with her team. Future episodes. Kim Taylor has to make a decision about how to improve sales numbers and motivate her team. The main sales representative, Mark, is not in the office for an extended period of time due to an illness. Kim Taylor must figure out how to keep up the sales without her main sales representative there and still keep up with her work. Itinerary. We still need to collaborate and finish the following team tasks. Filming episodes 5, 6, and 7, milestones 3 and 4, the final finger puppet management presentation, and the finger puppet management TV show and booklet.